Diane can't be with us today. Where is Diane, Ollie? She did! Thanks, Ollie. I'd like to welcome our new co-anchor, Joyce Kinney. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks, Tom. Wow, you sound crazy nervous. Angus was born with cerebral palsy, and his only wish is to one day become a famous heart surgeon. All I want to do is help people. Child of the Month, Angus Reed. Good luck with your dream, Angus. We believe in you. What a weird little guy. Thanks, Joyce. How old do they usually live to be, by the way? Well, you never see a gray-haired one. We now go live to Joyce Kinney, who attended her sister's wedding last night. Thanks, Tom. One of the suspects has been identified as Peter Griffin, but the real story is I'd be married too if I were willing to date a Persian. And Julie Andrews pleaded not guilty, saying that she brought the gun to the nightclub for protection. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and this is News... Oh, I thought you were going to sing with me, Joyce. Okay. And here is our editor, Mike. They let him smoke inside because all the smoke from his cigarette just floats directly back up into his face. Hey, Joyce, when you get a chance, come take a look at the Weaker Bug thing. You know, Tom, I haven't seen you in a mask since you went under the stage name George P. Wilbur. Oh, ho, ho, Joyce, you know we don't talk about that on the air. And that's why whenever I have sex without protection, I call it taking a John Chancellor. <laughs> <laughs> And here comes our first float of the day, Tom. It's the James Woods High football team with their Not Gay Review. We just won the big game. We just won the big game. We drilled them and banged them and plowed them a lot. And though that sounds suggestive, let me stress that it's not. Tom, I think I speak for all of us here at Channel 5 News when I say it's good to have you back here at half your original salary. Still twice yours, Joyce. Local housewife and church organist Lois Griffin has revealed to this reporter that she appeared in a pornographic movie back in the early 1980s. What? Mom, that's you! <laughs> Boy, that black bar would be a lot lower now, huh? 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 Would it not? Evidently, Lois Griffin, star citizen of Quahog, is also Lois Griffin, star of Quest for Fur. It just goes to show you never know what sort of person is living next door. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. Good to see your eyes open, Tom. If I'm not there by five, Joyce will anchor the news, and I don't think anyone wants that to happen again. Our top story? Guys, right? We went to high school together, Lois. Chemistry class, freshman year, Joycey. Your Joyce Chiva Prava Damrong? Yes, but they'd never let that name on TV, so I changed it to Kinney. Tell us about your book. I understand it's been number one on Amazon for many weeks, long time. Quahog was hit by a major blizzard last night. Here with more details on the snowstorm is Asian correspondent Trisha Nakahoma. That's wrong. That's wrong. You're not doing good so far. Channel 5 we're there for you When times are tough We'll help you through With news and sports and weather We'll always be together We're with you through it all Channel 5 Holy shit, that just turned out awful.